Good evening uh, and welcome to Trading Acad Academy Consensus. Uh, I have my own channel where I also make 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 my videos, but <clears throat> also here in this Consensus Academy, uh, you definitely should subscribe yourself to this channel. There's good quality content also in English from time to time and I also will be posting my TAs in here from for time from time to time so uh, that's that <laughs> uh, I'm not a financial advisor as I have said multiple times so do your own research and if you want to trade learn it first <clears throat> so as I have been repeating uh, in my <laughs> other videos before there's not much not much again that has changed uh, but let's then take a quickie where where we are at the moment still if you haven't watched the previous ones so you can now catch up where I stand. So, <clears throat> uh, in my opinion, we have now finally reached the uh, short-term bottom for the, at least for January. But a good, good, important thing to notice is that I also anticipated that we made the short term bottom here at 13th January where I I was uh, I was sad that did we didn't hit that 34,055 which was my one to one target from there there and there and we hit only 34 and 79 but I was uh, I was quite sure we had reached the bottom then and even though I was, uh, of course, cautious about us going one more leg down, but to be honest, if you would have asked me the probability for us to make a new low, I would have said that probably not. And the next point was here when we hit the 34,050, where I also said which was uh, about $20 lower than the 13th uh, day low that okay now we hit $5 difference from my original target from December so now we have reached the, reached the <laughs> short term bottom but uh, also I was cautious there that we might take one more leg down as we did but if you would have asked me two days ago, will we make a new low today? I would have said probably not. But we made it anyway. Now we made it and now our possible forming bull flag looks more uh, in sync with the upper line when we reach this bottom. I don't like this bottom because it's... Uh, it's not much lower, but it's still fifty dollars lower, which is one and a half percent, approximately, from the original target, and that's why I don't I don't like it. And if we will make a leg down, then then it starts to worry me whether we will make more legs down. Uh, but uh, currently, I don't think we will. As I. <laughs> didn't think we will two days ago also I'm still barely in long position which was very small and is very small position still and I will not add on to that position if that price will make a one more low it doesn't have to make it uh, to be honest uh, a very <laughs> it only has to make a few dollars dip 
to make a new lower lower and then I'll I'll get stopped. I will not move my stop loss. Uh, which is by the way in March futures in BitMEX as I've stated stated before. It's not on perpetual contracts, it's in March futures futures. I mean scaled in there. And uh, there was a killer killer week in there which which almost uh, stopped me out. But if it makes one more week like that, then I'm stopped. But like I said, I don't care if my hedge long will be stopped. I'm in no hurry. Uh, my main goal is to get into short pos position from this level. And currently, that target as a sniper target is not valid anymore. But now we have to do a new one. And we do it similarly to what I've done in the past weeks as a one to one. And again, why is a one to one? Because this area for 4,500, like I said in the previous video, is the uh, resistance zone where I don't think we will reach through that. Not necessarily this whole year. Well, it's very possible that even next year we won't reach that, but let's be optimistic for your for you hodlers who want the Bitcoin price to go to million dollars. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's the target four thousand five hundred and twenty five currently. If we make a new low mm, like I said, I start to feel suspicious about us going higher. And if I get stopped, like I said in the last video, this is the area where I'll try to get new longs with a bigger position. And if not, if not, we will go there and I will enter to short position. Uh, basically, that's the only thing I have to say. No, wait, one, one more thing I can say, as I've said this also before. But uh, I will anticipate this movement to happen in in 31st January, which will then start the dump after it. And... Uh, this would also form a very if we if the schedule and the price is nearly correct it will form this very large bear flag here from down from up there to down there and where will this fifth, green fifth way go and I anticipate it to drop into this area here, which is uh, 1650 to 2050. So it's like I've said before, it's very percentually very large area, but I will g get into long position uh, and ladder myself into it with very low leverage. So I don't. I don't get wasted if bad things happen because if you trade on exchanges where you have a risk to get liquidated you always have to avoid getting liquidated because the liquidation uh, costs you more than even if you manage to stop yourself out even by one dollar but you shouldn't put your stop losses uh, one dollar from the liquidation because of the slippage that might occur, 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 occur. <laughs> god uh, maybe if, maybe if i talk uh, make these videos more i learn how to pronounce better and uh, that's a wishful thinking so that's how i currently see it and it looks pretty good and uh 
volume is not very high. Uh, there's basically on the volume side nothing indicates yet that we are going higher. If we get a nice uh, green higher volume candle tomorrow, then it's then I'm more hopeful. And also I'm more hopeful if for some reason, which I doubt, we would manage to close above above this, I'll take that off, above this purple line, 3500 and approximately 90. If we manage to close above it, but also I think that's wishful thinking, it would be too easy, easy for us to go there. And also, uh, it would be nice to form f for the next two days two th green candles here to make a nice solid daily capper here to give us a nice resistance point. But like I said, it's uh, wishful thinking for it this to be that easy. So I'm anticipating we have a uh, at least two days of uh, pretty much uh, sideways going with like this before we break out if we will break out and otherwise it's, too, <laughs> it's just too easy okay so it's time to uh, uh, time to put an end to this uh, crappy video and uh, actually, I'm probably going to sleep soon, so uh, don't trade. It's dangerous. It's a high risk, high risk thing, and you will probably end up losing all your money. So uh, you just have to look at these videos as an ed educational, from an es educational point of view. Okay, that's all I have to say. Good, good night.